Okay, we're just going to go through how to install Joomla on your uh, on your desktop computer. Um, I'm going to be using MAMP, uh, but uh, it's just very similar to XAMP, and the setup is just very very similar to if you were working on a PC as well. All right, the first thing I want to do is I just want to make sure that I'm in my applications folder and I just actually do want to run MAMP alright um, and this is just very similar to uh, XAMP um, just make sure that your uh, servers are running okay they should be green alright and uh, I'm just going to open the start page Alright, good. Now the first thing I need to do is to create a database. Alright, so I just want to go up and uh, I'm just going to click on PHP My Admin. Alright, so here it is. Alright, I'll just zoom out for a second so you can see. And it's going to be just down here. Create new database. Um, I'm just going to call this just what I called it at work. All right, and there it is, student underscore zero one. All right, and uh, there it is. I'm just going to cre uh, click create. All right, there we go. Now the next thing I need to do is uh, to create uh, to create privileges. All right, so I'm just going to click on the button. All right, and uh, yes, this is a strange problem I had. Um, I can't actually uh, do it here, uh, so I'm just going to go up to localhost, and uh, for some reason, I just have to reload privileges. All right, there we go. Now, once I've done that, all right, I should have this uh, option here called add a new user. All right, there we go. Now, I'm just going to go up and uh, username. I'm just going to use the ones that I did at school. Student, host, um, it should be local, which will be uh, local host. Uh, that's pretty important. Password. All right, and uh, of course, just uh, do that again. Uh, don't generate a password. All right, and uh, now we just want to go to global privileges, and uh, we want to make sure that we check all. All right, and uh, now let's hit to go. All right, there we go. So we've just created a. Uh, We've just created a new user and we've created a database. Now we're ready to install um, install Joomla. All right, so I'll go back. Now there's some important things here. Um, you need to put your files in the MAMP folder on your computer and it's got to be in HT docs. Okay, uh, that's uh, very important. Now, there's a problem that seems to uh, I was having at work. What I need to do is I just need to just just check my uh, preference, my um, my privileges. All right, just make sure that they're all read and write. Otherwise, you're going to have trouble um, installing uh, Joomla. Okay, so here it is. I'm in HT Docs. Now I've already got my um, Joomla file here, my uh, zip file. I'm just using 1.5, very uh, very similar process to 1.6. Now I'm going to double click, and that. Um, yep, there we go. It's just created. Um, it's just created that, uh, let's just uh, uncompress it. Now, I just want to give it a name. 
Um, I should use the one that I used at school. All right. Okay, which was a student. Okay, uh, just give yourself a name that you're uh, going to remember. All right, now the other thing, okay, just check your preferences again. All right, it's a different process on the PC, but you still need to do the same thing. All right, there I go. Everyone, no access. I need to change that to read and write. Okay, very important, otherwise you won't be able to install. All right, there we go. Now we're ready to install. So go back, go back and here, so if I get this right, all right, I'm just gonna type in my address, all right? So it's the student folder. Good, it worked. All right, now make sure that this is the same as this name here. All right, now the other thing, for, uh, for, for MAMP, uh, it's just a little bit different. Uh, this is my address. Uh, if you're using XAMP, you won't need this, uh, this number here. It should just be localhost slash student installation. All right, and uh, the rest is quite easy. All right, uh, select language. Okay, let's choose Australian. All right, and press next. All right, um, yep, that's all okay. Um, it should all be greens. Sometimes you might get a uh, one of these, it's red. That's not a problem. So, again, okay, you should be able to go next again. All right, uh, agreements, agreements, agreements. Yes, 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 yes. All right, hit next again. All right, now this is where it gets important. All right, so your database is MySQL. Uh, the host name should be localhost. All right. Now, the username is the name that you used in the database. All right. So, um, so when we were when we were installing it earlier. All right. So, it was the student name. Okay, that's when I first created my database. All right. And give the password and the database name which is uh, student01. All right, that's all you need. Um, but you've just got to get all, it's very important to get these right, otherwise you'll have a problem like I did last week. All right, so we hit next. All right, good. Uh, we're not really doing uh, FTP. You can worry about that later. Hit next. All right, site name, okay, okay, give it a name, my first uh, Joomla site. All right, give your email, dbdaishu at gmail.com, all right, and um, these, uh, this is your password, okay, for when you uh, type in. Uh, when you first enter, okay, because the first person you're going to be is admin. All right, so give yourself a password. I'm just giving a very simple one here because I uh, always forget them. There we go. Now you're a new student, um, so just click install sample data. All right, there we go. Click on that. That's all okay. Now we can go to next. Here we go. Now we're getting this message. Please remember to remove the installation directory. Uh, you can do this automatically in 1.6, uh, but yep, that's like everything pretty important. All right, so I've just got to go back in and I've just got to go find 
my installation folder click and move to trash all right there we go now I'm ready to log in so I'm going to press on admin okay and here's your admin now admin all right now the password we're going to use is the one we just made a few screens earlier there we go all right log in and there we go uh, we're into uh, Joomla there all right um, that's your first steps so actually if you do want to have a look now you can just have a look preview All right, and uh, there's our Joomla page. All right, so if you've gotten to that stage, you've uh, done very well. Okay, and there we go.